right guys so let me just try to do this as fast as possible because I do have a premiere going up right now and I need to be active on premiere talking to you guys because it is a long one and that is episode three going up today so um, I do want to do a quick little grocery haul with you guys so I did go across the street to food bazaar I spent forty seven thousand eighty eight cents on all this stuff guys I try to keep it as low budget as possible but unfortunately I need to take my ass back to Connecticut and shop on the weekends there and come back home because it's uh it's like you know well priced there's Walmart out there and stuff like that it's just easier and cheaper so I don't know I'm gonna probably do that next time just because forty seven dollars fifty cent for just vegetables what yeah so starting off I got my yogurt so I got the two good yogurts you guys know they're three net carbs two grams of sugar I got two vanillas and I also got two coconut you guys know I've been doing the uh, coconut a lot lately but I decided to go ahead and grab the vanilla because the vanilla is actually pretty good I did actually pick up some strawberries as well which you guys see down here so I want to cut some strawberries up and do like strawberries and yogurt and stuff like that make fun little things and I can put some chocolate um cacao powder on it as well too so I don't know I wanted to do something fancy like that I did get some Brussels sprouts it was two dollars and 48 cents I want to try fresh this time because I've been roasting broccoli right now lately fresh so I decided to try like roasted Brussels sprouts or put them in the air fryer so I want it fresh because I want to build the season myself so I got some fresh one we got a little small heavy cream because I don't really use a lot of this I did get some thyme thyme for me is a good essential it makes the food taste just anybody from the island knows Time will really set the food, you know, it'll put the food at a different level, so I always get time. <laughs> I did get some Eggland Best Eggs. I got 18 eggs. I usually get it at BJ's and get like two dozen, but what, is it two dozen? I don't know. I get more at uh, Costco's or BJ's, but right now, I don't have the time for that. I got three avocados per usual. I have two right now that are pretty ripe, and I'm going to eat them quickly in the next two days. So I need these to be like ready for the next round, so I get three just to have like a backup. Um, I did get some green onion scallions because I love that on just about everything. Really crunchy, gives a good crunch factor. Unfortunately, I could not find the bean sprouts this time, so I'll probably have to go back tomorrow or the day after and see if they have it because I wanted to do, I love doing like a little Asian dish, you know, love it. So I did get some sesame seeds to go with the little Asian dish if I decide to do one this week. I also got a new soy sauce because my soy sauce was running out. I don't know, I love doing Asian dishes. I feel like it's easier on keto to do it because you could just incorporate a lot of vegetables minus the rice. I did get mozzarella and provolone blend cheese, a bag of kale. I did get some lime because I want to try to utilize a little bit of lime and water and stuff like that. Or and just do, I got some lemon as well, so I'll do some lemon water. I got a head of lettuce to do some kind of salads. I want to test out some kind of like mixed hot and cold salads this week too as well. And I also got some broccoli because like I said I've been in love with roasted broccoli salt pepper a little bit of avocado oil that's just been my jam so this was $47 worth of food guys I really feel like it's pretty expensive but this should last me this week and a little bit into next week I do have some produce in the freezer well like freezer like uh chicken and stuff like that in the freezer so that's gonna all go in combination with this so price ooh, keto expensive kind of I don't know, let me know what you guys, guys So tonight we are having Cajun shrimp alfredo. So I'm going to make the alfredo myself using heavy cream and Parmesan cheese. I don't have the actual bottle sauce. As far as the seasoning, none of these have carbs in it. I'm gonna use the Badaya's Cajun seasoning, some Cajun, a cayenne pepper, white pepper, salt. Um, I'm also gonna use garlic, butter. We're gonna do shrimp and I'm also gonna roast some broccoli because I told you guys I've been obsessed with roasted broccoli. So I'm gonna roast some broccoli to kind of mix it together and make like a vegetable shrimp pasta dish. Um, make it fun and add your veggies in there, obviously. So we're gonna use the Great Low Carb Bread Company spaghetti, which I showed you guys in last week's video. This is what the bag looks like and all the nutritional information that you need to know in regards to the serving size and everything. So I'm making this for me and my boyfriend, guys. So I'm gonna do about maybe, I'll probably do about, let's see. I'll probably do four of these. I'm, go I'm gonna measure it out on my digital scale to see how many ounces one of these is. So I'm gonna do two ounces per serving. Uh, so I'm serving for me and my boyfriend, that's two servings. So I'm gonna weigh everything out, guys. Don't worry, I'm gonna weigh it on my digital scale. Um, but let's just get into the, the recipe.
spicy no the noodles taste good guys recommendation to you guys cook it long I kind of took some of the uh, liquid out because I felt like it was a little too wet no I don't know it's really spicy and really good though mm. like, even though I roasted the broccoli first it still really has a, a little bit of crunch to it mm. but the noodles let me show you guys the noodles This is kind of what the noodles look like, guys. Really nice. You can make it creamier, make it kind of like wet. But I think I cooked it perfect. Really, really good, guys. Recommend, highly recommend. All right, guys, so it is Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, but we're not gonna do tacos tonight. Um, so you guys really didn't see that much of me yesterday just because this week has just been a really, really down, depressive type of mood. Um, you guys did hear about the tragedy on Sunday. I have been so freaking heartbroken since I found that news out, and I wanna send out prayers to all nine victims' families. It's just really, like, I just cannot imagine uh, how they felt those last few moments as they felt as they felt and saw that plane descending like I just and um like I honestly have been crying for the last three days guys non-stop I just I just don't understand um and you know just as a message to put out there to everyone just keep your family and your loved ones close Make sure you're nice and kind to people. Show love, show respect and gratitude to the people that are around you. Even complete strangers in your lifetime. People that you don't even know. Just make sure you try to be positive. Try to be nice and kind to people. Just because anything can happen. Uh, life is very unexpected. And as you can see, like Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi Bryant lost their lives. I am the biggest fan of Kobe Bryant this what this guy was the start of my basketball career I played basketball growing up if some of you guys did not know that and this was my guy right here guys I I I used to use his name as my password I just it's just like it's just shocking um but like I said to you guys just make sure you're keep a kind heart guys do the best you can during your daily life and just know that like life is not eternal so you know Make sure you make the best out of every day and keep it positive because anything can happen. And just just like that, on Sunday, we lost nine lives. And just like that, they're gone. So I uh, just wanted to put that message out there. I've been really, really down. My sisters have been like, girl, you got to calm down. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I think the last time I've ever felt like this type of, like, you know, blow with kind of like media, like someone like social influencing wise was probably Michael Jackson. I cried for about a week. I was absolutely crushed. So... I don't know guys, just keep them in your prayers. Um, 
and please it's just really unfortunate and very sad so today's menu we're gonna have savory and sweet for our breakfast it's actually right now about 1 30 so I decided to do um, maybe like a hard-boiled eggs and I'm gonna do a yogurt so you guys tell me that I don't eat a lot of fruit so I'm gonna do the strawberry which you guys did see in the shopping hall yesterday so I'm gonna add strawberries into the week and do kind of like fun yogurt dishes and stuff like that you know I like to do my little fancy yogurt dish so you know I'm gonna have to do that with this meal so I'm gonna do two hard-boiled eggs kind of make it fancy um, not the fancy way I did last time I'm gonna try to do something different this time and I'm crossing my fingers that it works out I'm gonna try it that way this time and then I'm also um, gonna have some tea I'm gonna have some pomegranate tea today because I didn't have any tea and that'll be that but today I wanted to actually do a little bit of uh, prepping for with you guys so you guys asked me about what I used to season my food so I decided to go ahead and show you guys how I season my chicken uh, thigh fillets so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go step by step so you guys know because guess what we're having tonight chicken curry alright guys so before I start making my dinner I'm actually going to clean and a quick hot uh... alright guys so before I start um, eating my breakfast all right guys, so before I go ahead and uh, start finishing up my breakfast, I wanna go ahead and quickly clean the chicken. So I'm going to use lime to clean the chicken and then I'm going to quickly flash cook it with hot water. If you're from the island, Haitian, whatever, you know what I'm about to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, they tell you not to clean your chicken. I'm not doing that. I'm doing what I grew up doing, what my mom taught me how to do, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna clean it, hot, let hot water cook it quickly, like, flash cook it and then I'm gonna actually cook it but then I'm gonna come and season it after I do that part so I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using I'm using chicken thigh fillets um, yeah and that's about it it's I don't know how many pounds this is but it's a lot so I'm gonna split it up and do what I gotta do with it for the rest of the week you know how it goes doing a ride on bumble it's fake kills one time one time one time one time one time one time, one time. Lego, 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 Passing the prime. Them girls, them I come, them I feel alive. One by one, them I step in on me yard, them I enter, them be two by two. Oh, oh we yeah, yeah, yeah. go low. Man, I tell them, man, I tell them, man, I tell them, me them go slow. Them I feeling on my vibe and see these girls, them go down. Girls, them a coming over. Aye. Bad man, me a while a lava. Girl, come, them a be my lover. Aye. Bad man, me a never waste time. Them a girl, them a come, them a never count time. One time, me a never waste time. Them a girl, them a come, them a try my time. Ooh. Ooh. Man, I tell me they go, go. See the girl, them a slow, slow. Bad man on the road, road. See the girl, them go down. deviled eggs so um i've never really formally like tried it tried it um so this will be actually my first time so what i did was whip it with avocado make it like an avocado green eggs and ham in a way so um without the ham but you know so let's try Mhm. Mm the reason why i knew this was gonna work is because avocado and i mean avocado and the yolk have the same texture you just gotta beat it together 
delicious delicious salt pepper paprika and avocado oil to kind of make it all come um get kind of like soft and silky bomb so if you want to do like a recipe like green eggs and ham you can because this is actually like kind of like a green mustardy kind of color so mm. very very good you guys know the yogurt is gonna be bomb so well, I really want to try, try this out I think this is a great idea devil avocado deviled eggs delicious all right guys so we're going to go ahead and prep these chicken thigh fillets so we're going to use salt pepper garlic paste and some scallions just to kind of give a good flavor profile for the chicken i'm obviously not going to use all the chicken for the curry dish but i'm going to use some of it so we're going to add the curry powder into the pot when we cook not into the bag we're just going to keep like a basic kind of original season tripe type of chicken salt pepper garlic paste and the in the green onions and that's it the reason why I do this sometimes is so that I don't over season the food because we are cooking cauliflower tonight um, with the curry just to kind of give you like a potato base we're going to do cauliflower cabbage and a few carrots I'm going to try to season the vegetables more so than the chicken because chicken can pick up flavor fast the vegetables are your issue when it comes to flavor so we don't have to over season this we can just do it lightly and then build the flavor as we go all right guys so let's go ahead and get it started all right guys so that is it as far as the chicken goes i did go ahead and add a few squirts of avocado oil spray just to kind of combine uh the garlic paste and everything together and just to kind of get everything to stick so this is what it looks like guys in the bag like i said simple it's a simple seasoning thing it's not crazy but it's super flavorful adding some of the green onions or scallions in here Delphi is going to give this chicken a good aroma and like I said I'm going to use the chicken uh, more than one time so I can you know expand the uh, chicken out so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for about three or four hours then we're going to get in and start dinner I'm obviously going to have something to eat in a few so I'll show you guys what I have to eat but it's most likely going to be like a protein shake and a cheese stick or something real simple just because I'm just hanging out right now and I'm not really really hungry so yeah so. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, so happy hump day. Today is Wednesday. So for today guys, we are going to do a brunch burger. So I've already had a protein shake, a strawberry protein shake around like 1.30. So it is around like 2.30, 3 o'clock right now, so I'm going to have my brunch burger. Now yesterday I did not film me making my tuna sandwich for lunch because my camera actually died and I was in between filming at the same time. I did so many things yesterday, it was ridiculous. So I did, sh I'm going to insert a picture right now of what I had for lunch yesterday and it was bomb.com. So I did uh, give you guys a little PR unboxing last week on the Outer Isles sandwich thins. Um, they also have that pizza crust. I am telling you guys right now, if you guys don't get your hands on that product, you guys are crazy. It's only one net carb per slice and it legitimately is so filling. With It's like a sandwich, guys. like one of those like sandwich things that you would actually get from the store that has like maybe like for the whole entire thing like 36 grams carb. This is only two net carbs, guys. It's nothing and it tastes really good. So I had a tuna fish sandwich yesterday. It was so nice. And I also had like a chilled pomegranate tea with ice, which is also great. I just used a tea pack and just made it chilled. Um, so that was really good too. So that was a really filling meal before I had my curry chicken. Guys, legitimately, like hands down. I never seen my boyfriend scarf down a meal so quick in his life. Like it was so, so good. Um, I roasted the cauliflowers and when I was roasting the cauliflowers, I put salt, pepper, and um, the curry powder on it just to make it kind of crispy with the flavor. And obviously I did the curry chicken with sauce and stew. Didn't have to use any flour to thicken it. Didn't have to do any of that stuff. You just have to let it cook and marinate all together and everything came out delicious and perfect. You didn't even really care about the rice, guys. You don't even really think about that, but that meal was excellent. Hope you guys like the you know the little close-up because it was bomb.com so let me stop flapping my gums I'm gonna make a brunch burger right now and I'm gonna use the outer aisle sandwich this is the original one and we're gonna go ahead and stack it up with an egg and avocado make it like a nice kind of filling uh, brunch burger so guys let's just go So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. This is exactly what it looked like yesterday with the tuna instead of this, obviously. Sorry, I had to take my shirt off because it was really hot in here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Let me come up close and show you guys how thick this is. Look at how nice and thick this burger is, guys. Look at that avocado, turkey, burger, cheese, bacon. Like, come on, like. And this is on a, a little sandwich thing, so I'm ready, I'm so excited. Look, I'm messing things up. Oh my God, I broke the egg. <laughs> um, That's fine, we'll bite it from there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right on. Mm. Oh my God. Tastes just like a burger and a cauliflower thing. It's so good. Look at that. I rest my case.
Hey guys, so it is Thursday. So today we're going to have hot cereal. Now I did do like a little bit of an Amazon shop. So these are the new items that I'm going to show you guys today. Yesterday I did do a bomb yogurt granola bowl. I cannot emphasize to you guys, I will leave the link down below, how bomb this keto granola is with blueberries. So let me just show it to you guys first because I can, um, like for my people out there that love yogurt, granola, love those types of things, you, oh my God. Like I'm not, I'm having like the biggest girl crush right now. I am telling you guys right now, this is a keto nut granola with blueberries from um, low carb with a K. So this is 16 grams of fat, three grams net carbs, and five grams of protein. So I used a two good yogurt yesterday with some, a little bit of vanilla extract that's like um, no carbs, it has no carbs in it. Um, some cinnamon and I did put the chia seeds in it. Guys, this thing is absolutely delicious. It's a third cup serving for only three net carbs with the yogurt. It was super filling. I loaded up with the chia seeds just to kind of fill you in even more. I'm telling you guys right now, this was probably one of my like most like it's my favorite kind of like sweet type of like uh, snack. Like I'm like I highly recommend purchasing this product. There's a lot of product in it. I'm gonna have to come up close and show you guys the bag because like that's how serious I am. The aroma of this is absolutely like if you're looking for brick breakfast, like this is it. Like I'm telling y'all. So look at it up close, guys. Look at all those clusters and look at those dried blueberries in there. Like I'm telling you guys, this is the business. It smells so good. They use cinnamon. They use like monk fruit and erythrol um, to sweeten it. So that's why there's really no sugar in this. And guys, it has protein. It has the fats we need, the 16 grams of fat and three net carbs only. I'm going to leave a link down below. I highly recommend purchasing this. It's about $10, but I mean, you could make a good serving out of this. You can even go ahead and make like, oh my God. Hmm. All right, guys, so the camera cut off right in the middle of me talking to you guys about the hot cereal. So what we're having today is hot cereal, as you can see. So the hot cereal is from a brand called High Key. It's instant hot cereal, low carb breakfast, strawberry and cream. Now I think they had other flavors, I'm not sure, but I always play it safe when I see stuff like strawberry and creams because I know it's gonna be good. So this one is two net carbs, 12 grams of fat, nine grams of protein. Um, for this one, it says to use water, but I'm just gonna use unsweetened almond milk just because it has no carbs in it. Only 30 calories a cup, so whatever. So for the serving size on this one, it's about, um, it's a serving size of a third cup. A third cup and this serves about seven and a half servings so this will last you about this can last you a pretty good while so I'm gonna go ahead and put some strawberries in it a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of vanilla extract I'm not gonna put the granola in here I just wanted to show you guys this but I'm definitely gonna have to make me a yogurt tomorrow um, probably for breakfast and two oh yeah I'm back. probably just gonna have this I'm gonna have this tomorrow with the yogurt again for breakfast and maybe some tea and then yeah so let's get right into this guys i'm really excited i can't wait to taste it in front of you guys to see if i really think it's quality <laughs> So this is what our hot cereal looks like up close. So it did come with their own little pieces of strawberry, but I did obviously add my own. Look at it sliding. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It does have like seeds in it, like um, nuts. It's not a big serving, but it should do the job because it has a lot of protein and fat. Hmm. Has an oatmeal consistency to it. I would say put it, make it, make this, guys, in almond milk. Mm -hmm. 
I personally recommend the strawberries on top, the kind of cold mix with the hot cereal. It is really nutty, but I think it's really good. Mm-hmm. Tastes similar to oatmeal, but just with a lot more nuts. Let me show you guys what I mean with nuts. It has like a lot of sunflower nuts and stuff like that. You guys can see how there's nuts in it. But very, very good. I can see myself eating this, but I definitely think that that granola definitely tops it for me. I'm definitely gonna finish this. I don't know how long this is gonna last in my belly, but I have something planned for like a late lunch. So I have something planned. So I'll come and show you guys what I make, but this is actually really good. I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna make it again. The uh, fresh strawberries on top, set it off. Mm -hmm. I recommend using milk versus um, water, just as a suggestion.
um, I did make these cheese biscuits last night, but I didn't give you guys like the taste testing portion. So I decided to go ahead and make egg and cheese biscuits this morning. But let me come up close to show you guys how beautiful these came out. So these are the biscuits, guys. I hope the camera could focus. There you go. Focus in so you guys can see how nice and fluffy like my nails. Aren't they really cute? I'm going to do a nail haul. I did a really big um, shop on IK House. So you guys will see my press on nail collection. I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to show you guys. So the channel is developing. So um, yeah, guys. So these are the biscuits. So I'm going to go ahead, guys, and make like a nice little egg and cheese. We're going to slice it and butter it and toast it. And then we're going to eat it. I'm going to go ahead and try and let you guys know what it tastes like. The ingredients and everything, I'll, lift up, I'll list them down below and I'll actually insert it in the video. It was really simple, guys. And I used sour cream instead of cream cheese. So you can go ahead and use uh, cream cheese, vice versa, whichever one you want. But um, they came out really good. And even my boyfriend was like, hmm, pretty good job, girl. So um, let's go ahead and make our egg and cheese sandwich. what it looks like so I did go ahead and slice up three strawberries and put a little bit of splendor on top just to make it you know like a little bit sweet and savory at the same time so let me come up close to show you guys what it looks like up close so there we go that is the egg and cheese I did an egg and cheese scramble I put some butter on the biscuit guys it's a cheese biscuit so it's uh, really flavorful as well. Salt, pepper, and the eggs and everything. Two eggs only. I did slice up some strawberries right here and put some Splenda. You guys can see that. So overall, this looks really, really, really good. So let's go ahead and try it. So I'm only going to take one bite because I'm pretty sure that this thing, whole thing is going to fall apart like immediately once I bite it. So I'm going to try to bite it at corner. Mmm. 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 The eggs are bomb. <laughs> no. The biscuit tastes really good, guys. Definitely cut it in half. Toast and butter. No, I feel like yesterday it was a little bit more gritty tasting. Not bad though. But today, the day after, it tastes so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very good, guys. So I'm the type of person that follows recipes, but I always tweak my recipe. So I'll put the recipe for the biscuits in the video, and you decide what to do. But I think it came out really good. All right, good. guys, so I didn't end the vlog, so I'm ending the vlog now as I'm trying to get this video to go up. But I wanted to say thank you guys for watching the video. I ended up having wings on Friday night, and then I had a glass of wine. Be careful when you're on keto because your tolerance level for liquor is going to be non-existent. So I had wings for dinner and some wine, and that was that. Um, so today is the start of episode season episode five, I believe, now that I'm filming today. But for this week, I'm going to do another J-Scope giveaway. Um, so for this giveaway, um, just I would like you guys to tell me your favorite recipe that I've created in the entire series so far. And I'll just randomly select a winner for the J-Scope this time. And for the two winners that won the test strips, haven't heard from you guys. So um, if you did not realize that you won, maybe you should go back and watch the episode three i believe it is or yeah episode three because i haven't heard from you guys so all right guys do not forget guys to thumbs up this video leave your comments down below subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people and i will catch you guys in a later one bye